Hey everyone, it's Brittany and it was requested for me to do an updated foundation routine for summer. So I just filmed it and there was a little mishap at the beginning. You can, I explain that, but the stuff I don't show in the video, I just added some lipstick because I love lipstick. This is Girl About Town. And then I put on some eyeliner. I used the Buxom eyeliner in Onyx. And then for mascara, I have Lash Stiletto by Maybelline. And then that's it. So let's just get started with the tutorial. You're not going to believe what I just did. I just filmed at the very beginning. So luckily it wasn't that much. And I didn't press record. So <laughs> you missed a little bit. Not that much. I'll go over what I, I said. I moisturize all the time in the summer, even though I use a tinted moisturizer. I use Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. It's not much coverage, but I really enjoy the finish, and any blemishes I have get covered up with concealer. And then to cover under my eyes, I don't have that much dark circles. It's not a huge problem for me, but I love the YSL under eye concealer. You just click it, it comes out, and then you just dab it on, and then dab it in with your fingers. Don't try to stretch it. That's bad for underneath your eyes. And I just got this product too. I really like it. It's super brightening. Uh, it's really easy to use. It lasts all day and it photographs really well which is another thing I look for in products and right now I'm using the Laura Mercier it's like a, a two-tone concealer and I just take a synthetic brush and cover up all of my acne problems so that's all you missed I do that I usually uh, draw in my eyebrows because I actually like setting them with powder I use where are the? Use the Anastasia brow pencil. I love this. It's super tiny, so you can get like kind of. I like my eyebrows to be dark and intense, just because my eyebrows are naturally dark. So I just kind of go with the flow, and I like the kind of definition I can get with this. I like the control I have with such a small thing. Um, it's not really like, a part of foundation routine, but this is normally what I would do. For that, I will always just put on a little eyeshadow primer, even if I'm not doing eyeshadow. I like how it kind of is like a neutral base for your eyes. So I just kind of go a little like this. And then I bring it under my eyes too as well. And this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. So I do little tiny strokes. And then I start defining the arch. I have like a lot thicker over here and then it kind of dies down a lot over here. Alright, that's about the gist of how I do my eyebrows. Then I like to contour. I am, ooh, the mirror on this is super big, but I, oops, this is the NARS. Um, I think it was a holiday set palette, but it has blushes, contour, highlight. It's a pretty awesome little kit right here. Um, I don't know if they sell it anymore. I dip it in Laguna. You can, I think you can buy all these colors by themselves. So if you like how Laguna looks on me, I actually like using more of a matte bronzer. My matte bronzer broke. This one has some shimmer in it. The shimmer doesn't really pick up, I find, but I wouldn't just contouring with a shimmery bronzer. Uh, that that won't look as good. And you just contour, just right. Like if you like this, then right there, like right under your cheekbone. You just kind of want to enhance that shadow. Then I like to go a little up, a little to the side. I don't know what my hair is doing right now. And then just right under the chin, I like to do too. For summer, I like using a peachy colored blush. So I'm just going to sweep that on my face. And I like a lot of blush. I like this Lorac tantalizer. It is like a nice little big bronzer. Mine's broken. It's usually kind of like looks like a bubble. Mine's pretty flat because I use it a lot. And that's a baby size. They're normally huge. I have a huge one, but it broke. I break a lot of things. And then I like to sweep this right over the blush, even though it's kind of like a bronzer. It's more peachy on the skin, at least on my skin tone, and it's really shimmery. I think it looks really pretty. And then I just like to make up forever. This is just like a setting powder. I think any kind of Mika powder, M-I-C-A, I think that's what it's called, powder would work. I think that's just what this is. Um, but I bought this, so I'm going to use it. 
and it's clear so it doesn't add any more like foundation kind of stuff to you and then just set it on your sweaty face so it doesn't give you much coverage but it gives you a very nice kind of high definition look to your skin I like to give you know it's a nice sheen to me so I take this what is it benefit eye bright it's like a big pen and it makes it really easy just to draw on the inner corners of your eyes just give you some bright and then just kind of dab it with your finger you can set it with eyeshadow too it lasts a lot longer like that but I'm not doing anything today so for you guys, I'm not going to set it. And I like to go right underneath my eyebrow. And then if I put a little mascara on, a little gloss, that's pretty much like my everyday look too for summer. Unless it's like nighttime and I'm doing something special. So I will kind of give you a glimpse of what it looks like. That is the end of my foundation routine. I'm interested as to what your favorite products are for summer. Um, maybe some drugstore dupes. I've been having my eyes on that for a while now. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!